It's Miss Stadium needs $16.5 million in repairs over the next decade. That's according to an engineer hired by Sarasota County. To keep the stadium up to Major League Baseball standards, the board decided to shift money from the tourism budget to pay for those repairs. ABC 7's Taylor Torregano is live at Ed Smith Stadium with how much money we're talking and the controversy behind it. Taylor? That's right. Good evening, Jacqueline Scott. I can't show you the maintenance that's needed inside this stadium because today the VP tells me he'd prefer to stay out of the controversy that was stirred up in the county's decision to reallocate these funds last Tuesday. But today the commission's chair tells me she stands by that decision, even through the tears that ensued. Since the red tide, <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> we get four or five request a month. I had two rentals in September. I have a group due to come in this week and they called about this headline in today's paper. That headline, Return of Red Tide, and Mr. Parr says he's one of many business owners suffering because of it. This is terrible to consider for one second taking marketing money away, no matter where you put it. But the commission still disagreed, deciding that their responsibility to keep the stadium maintained is paramount. Renovations will include two fields upgrades, a new irrigation system, lightning protection, and fencing. The county has enough to pay for $3.2 million of those repairs this year and next, but come 2020, the amount of tourist development tax given to promoting our area will likely need to be reduced. Instead of giving 30% to marketing, we are going to give a range of in between 25 and 30%. And we don't know how many dollars that's going to add up to because it doesn't take effect till 2020. Even with the residue of dead fish lining our coast, Chair Dieter says she has faith that tourism will persevere. I've seen the work that Virginia Haley and Visit Sarasota have done. New things, new ads to deal with red tide and to deal with the dip for hotels and restaurants. And it's very creative and innovative and it should be very effective. Virginia Haley says though they estimate this means $900,000 less in 2020, she's hopeful too. This shift is significant, uh, no doubt, but again, um, we have some very talented people here at Visit Sarasota. We've been through challenges, certainly after 9-11, the economic downturn, the uh, Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Comparing this natural disaster to the tragedies her promotions team has faced before with a confident smile and a red tide recovery program in her pocket. Each time our job is to rally and produce the results that are expected of us. Now, before this decision was made, the community and board talked this through for over an hour and a half. Many community members spoke up, saying Red Tide has had devastating effects on their business. I'm reporting live outside of Ed Smith Stadium, Taylor Torregano, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Taylor, thank you.